We're gonna coach him on that. We're gonna coach him on that. Uh, oh, with yeah. the, I guess, kind of a dual purpose question: how, how does scrimmage look to you? And what are you looking for in this Saturday scrimmage? Uh, last scr last scrimmage on Saturday. Um, there's some guys that make some plays. I mean, you know, it's it's one thing when you're going in all the drills and everything, and your thud. You know, guys. You know, guys are practicing stuff. There, there's a totally different tempo when coach cuts it loose and he says live. You know what I mean? And uh, there's some guys who who you just wanted to see if they knew how to operate. I thought Bly Hill had a had a really good day, showed some really good things. Um, uh, I'm trying to think here. Uh, up front, Kai Wallen had a good day. You know, the the usual guys, Cam Linhart. There's a lot of guys who made a lot of plays. But uh, the one that's that was noticeable out there on the edge was was some of the DBs. Like I said, Bly Hill made made a ton of plays. So, and then obviously this this week coming up, you want to just see the guys be able to take a step and cut down on the MAs, make sure they understand how to how we want to play football. Um, and uh, again, you you're always looking for somebody to break through. You know what I mean, somebody that just knows what to do, knows how to do it, and then all of a sudden you give them a chance live, coaches off the field, you know. They, that they go out there and make plays. So, has Bly been building toward a, a scrimmage like that throughout the spring? Yes. Yeah. You know, again, not not the because there's so many guys that are that are improving, but he was just noticeable because he had he had two three plays where it's just like, hey, it's you and the ball, you and the defender, you and the offensive guy, and, and he he happened to make those plays. So, it was it was good to see a guy like that who he he come he you know worked the whole off season with coach Coop as as all those guys did but he did he does exactly what you ask you know he really absorbs the information and and applies it on the grass you see him working on things he's really deliberate in his practice so it's good for for him to show out like that you're replacing uh, Luke and Nick at linebacker i mean how do you like how that's come together just with the group you have at linebacker without those two veterans yeah the 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 without those two guys i mean you got guys like Makai, um you got Javen Buddha. Um, Bullock has really been, you know, and I, I, I said this before that he last year he was a safety, learned how to play linebacker, and this this so far this spring he has really he's really stepped it up. I mean, he is a linebacker, and he's now I think you can see in the speed of how he's playing in practice, how comfortable he's starting to get, and he's just seeing things a little faster. He's a little bit more aggressive on the ball. Um, and then you got those other guys starting to show up. I mean, Jacob Bauer's doing a really nice job. He's starting to flash and show. Gage Stanger, uh, Steph Thompson. Now you know he's he's got worked himself into shape. I mean, he knows the he knows the defense. So now he's starting to put things together in there. I mean, so you got a lot of guys who who are starting to come up. I mean, but but again, it's it's all about the build up to Saturday, right? Because Saturday is is just like a game, and that's that's where you really get a chance to say, okay, this is who I am. You know. How do you evaluate? When you look at your defense as a whole, and you watch from those scrimmages, but you don't have Ty and Nash out there as, as such a huge part of what you do. With Brunt. So you take that into account, and given the given that Brunt some some leeway, knowing that your main guys aren't there. Nah, nah. I mean, we 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 operate as is because you know football at any point in time, any one guy could could not be out there. So. It's the 11 guys on the field. You guys for that for that play when you take the field, you guys are the starters. So, um, and and it's actually it's cool as a play caller because you get a chance to uh, see, you know, what those guys do well, what they what they need to work on, and be really deliberate with them in terms of hey, this practice I want you to do this. I know, like Jamari for instance, you know, T Knight, um, T Knight has been working on on with Jamari on some pass rush moves, certain pass rush moves, and you know he. If you don't tell him anything, he wants to do one thing, but he's been really, really deliberate in working on working on things, you know. So, um, and that's with that's with kind of everybody. Everybody's you know has some one thing that they're picking to, to really work on. So, it's uh it's it's fun to watch when you take those guys out there and other guys have to step up and play, you know. Is Riley Van Poppel somebody who's taken advantage of that opportunity of, of scrimmaging and not having Diane Nash? Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. I mean, Riley, you got the Vincent Carroll Jackson in there. Sue has is come on, and he's starting to show like, hey, he belongs. I mean, um, uh, again, th those guys. T Knight does a great job of uh, um, mixing those guys around from tackle to end, from first to second. You know, and then the competition daily on the on the grading. You know, the depth chart is never the same. You're always moving guys up, moving guys down based off of performance. So. Um, it's a it's a good competition in there for for guys to uh, get better.
two weeks ago, you talked about the high standards you have for this group and to the point where you said you had your staff kind of check you, like, are we good? Yeah. Um, did you get kind of more of an answer to that for yourself after this first scrimmage, or is it still too early to kind of answer that question for yourself? No, you're, 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 never, you're never good enough. Now, now the, the really cool thing, okay, I'm, I'm going to say this because I don't think he'll say it, that, you know, after the scrimmage on the – on um, uh, when we came back and watched it, you know, coach, coach got on, coach got on me because it, it wasn't good enough. You know, it just wasn't good enough, and uh, and so we went back and we looked because this group, this group of guys in the in the locker room, they they do what you ask, man. These guys are blue collar. They they make they make coaching fun. You know, so so I looked at it and we went back as defense staff and said, how you know how can we do this? And so. We we tweak some things on defense and and explain to them and I you know and I apologize to the guys that said hey guys this is my fault this is this is what we want to look like this is what we want to do and showed them like actually showed them and Tuesday they went out there and they ran around with their hair on fire and I was like wow like you know I think everybody's like holy cow like what's going on and then today to start it off they they had the same attitude towards them so I had to apologize to the guys that it was, it was my fault you know what I mean and. Uh, it was really, it was really fun to watch those guys, Jamari, uh, uh, Bullock, Giff. I mean, those guys, Keys, go out there with the little, with the little chip on their shoulder and, and fly around. So, again, you're never, you're never good enough. You're always tweaking something. You're always trying to challenge somebody. You're always trying to, trying to make sure that guys are getting better. And not, and and when coach, coach jumped us for that, like it was, a, it was, a, it was a great thing. You know what I mean? So we were able to redefine some things. What was his concern? What, what we got to play hard, you know. We 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 want to, you know, uh, we want to have the habits. Okay, we want to create create the habits of the best defense in the country, right? That's what we want to do. Okay, the best defense in the country, they have certain ha habits that they just they're just they run to the ball, they're physical, they don't give a crap, and they play with ultimate confidence, you know. And so that was the thing, you know, making sure that those guys are confident, like they're big, they're strong and fast, you know, they. From what Corey, Mitch, and, and Kristen has been doing with them in the offseason, they know what to do. They've been sitting in meetings. Bro, go out there and play. Go out there and play. You know, no, no, no hesitation, no fear. Like, go play, and then we'll correct it later. So I think that's the that's the next step is to make sure that every guy believes, man, like they are they are monsters out there that they can just go out and play fast and physical, and then we'll correct the stuff later. But just go out there and put it on tape and let's see. You mentioned a lot of veterans and the guys that responded Tuesday and Thursday. I mean. For the response to be like we've got to step it up and not like oh they're probably talking about the younger guys like what does that say about the culture you guys have right that, now that's 100 percent those guys like i said they they do whatever is asked of them those you know i i can't i can't talk enough about about those this, uh, about those guys i mean they when i apologized to them and we showed them they went out there and and, and they did it they started to do it you know what i mean so it was it was really neat for them to do it on Tuesday and then come out there today and have that same attitude. Now, again, it's just what coaching is, right? It's fixing things, it's, it's making adjustments, seeing like why certain guys did something, but but really working on on the confidence, really working on the when you step on that grass, you 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 just let it go. Let it go and go play. So how much uh, position moves and experimenting have you been able to do this spring, like trying guys out at some new spots? You were maybe an offensive guy. Have you been able to do much of that this spring? Uh there there's been there's been some of that. I mean, uh some of the big guys inside that from offensive line to defensive line, um, but it hasn't been it hasn't been as as drastic as it was last year, you know, because we you know you don't know you don't know the guys and all, but now you got a sense of what they can and can't do, um, and then as we continue with this stuff, then guys are getting hurt, so now you're seeing okay, well we maybe this guy can go over there and play corner and start experimenting with stuff like that, but um, we have been, but just not in the numbers that have been since last year. Tony, is there anything in particular about this offense that challenges your group, that the offense against your group? Yeah, I mean, again, they, 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 number one is is running the ball. You know, I, I, again, I don't think they the offense got enough credit for for how well they ran the ball because it, it reflected on on us being able to play the run. You know what I mean, number one. And then number two, with the with all three quarterbacks and, and Coach Thomas uh, developing them and 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 tweaking things on offense, like you're you're seeing you're seeing you're having to defend so much more. You know what I mean? So that's going to definitely 100% get us ready for what we're going to see, especially with the new additions uh, of the schools out west. You mentioned 
mentioned Jamari. Um, what have you seen of him just coming off of last year, and maybe the confidence that he he built up with that season, and 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 what where he's taking that now? Yeah, the, the, you said it. You said it exactly right. I mean, it's the confidence, right? That's that's the thing because they they they're working on things. Anytime you can line up and then say today, hey, when I get a pass, when I get a pass, that I'm going to do this, and then they go out there and you, and do it, and then you you go back and watch it on film, that they were that deliberate in practice. That, that takes confidence. That takes confidence in your ability and, and also confidence in the fact that you're like, hey, I, I'm not good at this. I need to work on this. You know what I mean? So he's, he's a guy who you can see that, that he, he loves where he's at. He loves the guys who he's playing, playing for and with. And, uh, uh, you know, the, the bond and the chemistry with, with T. Knight and the guys on defense, I think it's just taking a guy like Jamari and, and, and giving him the, the, the ability and confidence to go out there and have a great season. Well, number one is is their ability showed right when they when they went to pro day. You saw how explosive they are. You saw them, how fast they, the fast they were, how high they jumped. So the ability was there. And then coming from here, you know, especially the, the way the way the program is run, like you're going to get a guy who who excels, right? You're going to get a, a blue collar guy who's tough, who's physical, who knows how to show up, who knows how to take notes, who who is a professional, you know, and so. You look at those guys, Phelan, uh, on, on special defense, Luke, uh, Q, those guys. Like that's that's what they are, you know. I mean, that's what Nebraska is about. So, um, I remember I remember going through the process, uh, my process, the same way. And it's, you know, I wasn't as prepared as, as they were. You know I mean, I wasn't I wasn't as I was not as prepared. So, you know, wish those guys wish those guys well, and I know they're going to do a good job wherever they go. You mentioned how Coach Rule can get after the assistants sometimes. I mean, is that unique in, in some of your stops, the extent he gets after you, and is that something you welcome? Yeah, the great ones do, right? The great ones do. They're not satisfied, right? And they're always figuring out a way. And I, and I said this when my first observations with Coach Rule, like, you're always looking, you're always, you're always finding ways to try to do something better, more efficient, you know, uh, give somebody more, more confidence to go out there and do it. You know, your position coaches, whatever it is, recruiting, the, tr the, the nutrition staff, the weight staff, whatever it may be, he's always looking and he's always – always like uh, um, trying to, to figure out a way to make things better, you know, and, and, and you know, you saw the tape on, on Saturday and sure, some, there's some great individual performances, but as a whole, you know, we talk about taking this next step and I said this, like everything is words until it's put in action, right? So you, you talk about taking the next step where it's not showing up on, it's not showing up on film. So then you have to go back and it always starts with, it always starts with me on defense, right? And then Going back and saying, how are we talking to the guys? Do they do they know? Do they see? It? And then Coach Coop having great ideas, Coach Dvorak having great ideas, Coach T Knight having great ideas. You know, what I mean, everybody in that D staff room coming together and saying, "Hey, this is maybe we need to do this. We need to do this." And it's like, damn, okay, let's let's do that. And the young men so far have responded to practices in. So, you know, kudos to them, and we'll see what happens. We'll go up and watch the film, and then we'll see what happens on Saturday. Yeah, I don't see Matt here. He 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 went to class, right? He did. Good, good. Keep student, student. <laughs>